Hello everybody, good evening, good evening, welcome to our Transport Fever 2 livestream. I hope uh, that you are all well, that you can uh, that you can all hear me, because I know Transport Fever 2 is a very, very loud game. Uh, so yeah, I've, I've turned it down quite a bit, so you should be able to hear me over the, uh, over the noise of all the industry going on. Uh, but yes, we're here back with Transport Fever 2. We're in East Yorkshire today on our East Yorkshire Madness, East Yorkshire Mayhem. I can't even remember what the name of our own series is, but East Yorkshire something or other. Uh, we're back today, yes, and we are... It's going to be about two hours this evening, I think, for a live stream. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we're going to get quite a few interesting things done. Isn't that just a beautiful scene to open to with the nice sunken down track with the uh, the fantastic looking bridges over? And I think we're even going to get a train coming through by the sounds of things. Sounds like there's going to be a train, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Doesn't the train look small? I thought it would be bigger than that. But yeah, oh, it, it just looks fantastic coming into... Uh, sort of reminds me when you're coming into Leeds through uh, Marsh Lane Tunnel from York. It's all sunk down and then you pop out. It, it looks nothing like that, but you know what I mean. I've got Magic Toad with me this evening who's currently sat next to me and he's looking at me a bit funny. He's about to break his teeth on a bottle of Ricardlin. Don't chomp down, dear. Um, <laughs> right, who have we got in this evening? We have got quite a few people, actually. Goodness me. We've got, uh, I don't know if Scott Davis is here, but he was certainly excited about it earlier. We've got Joe Holland, Lee Almack, hello, hello. Nim Anderson, Volkwag. Heck, someone from Germany is in. Ryan Bailey, Joe Wales, Rat Eat Cheese is back again, everybody. Foxy AR, hello, hello, hello. And uh, who else? Jo uh, Just Op Plays. Uh, is upset that I've not streamed a little bit earlier. Sorry about that. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's 1900 here, uh, so it's it's an evening for the UK. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, yeah, I guess it's a little bit late in India. Flipping it. Uh, I must also warn you, yeah, there is a good chance that the internet might go down, because where we are in uh, mid-Cheshire, there is an absolute cracker of a thunderstorm going on at the moment. It's absolutely uh, torrential rain. The next door neighbour's still got a washing out. I don't know if you can hear the thunder. It's just happened. Still going. Still going. Flipping it, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that over the microphone. I don't know if it picks it up. But yeah, I mean, there's, like I said, there's a good chance a bolt of lightning will come through me, uh, me upstairs window and blow me to smithereens. Uh, or it might just knock the internet out. You never know. We can live in hope. Give over. Hopefully that won't happen this evening. Uh, we're hopefully going to have a brilliant live stream. Oh, Joseph Reed is joining us. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our stream. Northern Plays SCR, hello. And Johnny Simulation Gamer is here as well. Uh, yes, you have a new record of three days in a row streaming. Exactly. But unfortunately, tomorrow night I have to go pick my other half up from the airport. And then after that, I'm on late for seven days. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, no more streams after this for a bit, guys. Sorry about that. I thought I'd get them all in. You know, I'd, I'd sort of bank my uh, my streams. Iceman's here as well. Uh, oh, Volkvarg is Scandinavian. Please accept my apologies. Uh, it was just with the uh, I sort of I saw Volkswagen in your in your name, uh, so I just assumed you were from uh, from the Deutschland. Uh, not the case. Right. So first thing that we're going to be doing today is uh, you will notice it's September 1921. I don't know if you watched today's episode of... Uh, I don't know why I'm waving my hands around. They can't see you. They can't see no. me, can you? And uh, But yeah, I, I don't know if you watched today's episode, but we were in about the 1890s, so we have advanced by 30 years, which is why we've got uh, a quarter of a million in the bank. Is it? Oh no, it's 250 million. So uh, yeah, we've, we've, we're not doing bad for money, but what I have noticed is there's quite a few food waiting, but... Places like Beverly is only getting a quarter of the food that it actually needs. As well, if we fly down to Ghoul, that is also not getting enough food. So uh, so the thing is, are we actually producing enough? Well, there's not a lot here in the stored uh, section at the food processing plant. So I think we need to get another farm linked up to, uh, to, to be able to produce as much as we should be producing. So, uh, yeah, no quarter of a billion. It's mental, isn't it? Joseph Reed is all caught up. Uh, I'm very well. How are you, Joseph? Oh, you've watched the episode, so you're, uh, you're on track. You know what's happening then, don't you? Um, I've not changed anything at all, apart from all the things I've changed. Uh, so the routes are all the same. The trains and buses are not the same. So if you look, we've got new double-decker buses here. Uh, I thought I had to keep them up to date for the 1920s. A couple of our trains have got new. I don't think... I think we did that in the last video. But a couple of our trains are new. There you go. We've got a new, uh, a new steam locomotive on there. 
new coaches, etc. So we, we have got quite a few new things, but I haven't actually added any new routes. So yeah, farm to here. Have we got any farms in the vicinity? We've got one here. We could run a train from here. In fact, we could run it up the passenger line from Beverly, just so we've got a bit more traffic on that line. It's a possibility. Right, what we'll do then is we will go into the building here. What are we using speed limit wise for the, uh, for the other end of this station? using about 30 that'll do that'll do pepain train has literally just finished the video oh well it's good that you're uh, you're nice and caught up because otherwise it'd look weird wouldn't it you'd watch this video in the future and then you sort of go back to the past we've actually advanced so far we've got catenary now when we're building track that's uh it's a little bit nuts isn't it catenary already it's only 1921 i guess it's because they've got swiss vehicles in this game haven't they and uh the swiss had electricity a lot before, uh, a long time before the rest of Europe. Another flash of lightning, goodness me. Right, so there we go, we've got that in now. So that's going to come up here, through here, and then we need to branch off to the farm. Get that put in there. Uh, we're feeling 240 with no catenary. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's ideal. And then I think again 60, 60 miles an hour will do. I don't think there's a lot of freight lines that go faster than that, are there? I know freight trains in the UK can go up to 75. 75? They can yeah. do 75, can't they? I'm sure I've seen that on the uh, Great Eastern. Great Eastern main line. Right, we can, we can straighten that out to 60. Is that all 60 mile an hour? Flipping heck. Good lord. Uh, Joseph Reader, how old are you? Oh, I am 26 years old. 26 years old. Sometimes I feel a lot older, but... Uh, no. looks a lot older as well. Give over. Spitting your poison from your corner. <laughs> Crawl back under your rock. <laughs> you nasty piece of work. <laughs> um, yeah, 26 years old. Um... AIQ, have you played the Northern Powerhouse map on this game? I have. I've got it on a. I've got a personal save on the uh, on the Northern Powerhouse map. Well, no, I tell a lie. I did have a personal save until uh, the Windows update, which wiped off cross continental America. Uh, but I did have a personal save on that. But the guy who actually made the map had a. Uh, he did a YouTube series, so I thought I don't want to do a YouTube series on it for obvious reasons. Uh, it's already been done. I don't want to sort of copy him. And uh, he got lots and lots of views, and I probably wouldn't get lots and lots of views. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just leave him to do that. But, yeah, it's a brilliant map. Absolutely brilliant map. So, we're on train uh, Beverly Grain 2. Have we already got a Beverly Grain? We have. Beverly Grain, she sounds like someone that gusts at local pub, doesn't she? Yeah. I don't know her. Right. Uh, have we got a... Oh, we have, right. So, that's... Right, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll put no auto sig. We don't need auto sig. We'll just put that on there. Flipping out, what's with all this lag? Goodness me. Right, we'll leave that there because then our trains can come down here like that, can't they? Yeah. Right, so we will get you on there. What are we buying then? Let's have a look. Lee Almock, I heard that all the way in Birmingham. Joseph Reader, is Magic Toad with you? Yes, he's currently sat at the side of me. Uh, yeah. There you go. Shout for the lovely people. Wagwan. You know I'm using. Uh, yeah, we'll use the GNR Class Zero 2 because that is an absolutely fantastic freight locomotive. And uh, what about this? Great Western open plant carriages. Should we have a few of them? There we go. We'll have uh, 105 capacity. That'll do. I think one of them will do, won't it? Train Beverly Grain 2. That'll do. Right, he's off. Is he off? No, he's not off. Someone else is uh, he's waiting for this train to come in here. I want to have all the uh, the GNRs as our freight stuff. We've got a little tank engine, look. look little Great Western tank engine. Isn't that sweet? Uh, Peter Hillhorst. Preserved buses. We're currently waiting on an MOT. Uh, for the Eclipse. The Eclipse has run out of MOT, which is why we've not taken it out in a while. I am just waiting on it to be uh, to be MOT'd. I'm waiting for them to get back to me with a date. Uh, this is the same people 
who uh, are also waiting on doing work on the B10. So I'm a little bit disappointed, to be honest with you. The uh, they, they keep sort of fobbing me off, like, oh, yeah, we'll get round to it, we'll get round to it. And then it, it doesn't seem to happen. And then these are the people that are in charge of doing the Eclipse for the uh, for the MOT. So, I'm, I honestly, we might have a bus in six months that's working. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly, if, if I had enough money, I'd just sack it all off and take it straight to Volvo and have it all done there. God, he's taking his time to fill up. We've got another train to go here, love. I mean, these two coaches at the back are never full. Because we've, uh, th this farm's producing as much as it can. And, uh, yeah, it's producing as much as it can. And that's that. So, they're never full. Joseph Reader, have you ever heard of a series of games called Just Dance? Yes, many, many years ago. Me and my mother used to play that in the living room. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Oh, maybe you would believe it. But, uh, yeah, our Maxine giving it large in, uh, in dining room, actually. It wasn't in the living room. It was in the dining room. Slash the kids' playroom. But then it was the dining room on special occasions. Kids got turfed out. Yeah. Go play in your room. Yeah, yeah, that were it. Back in the days when it had the Venetian doors on. Don't have them anymore. I think when you came round to my mum's, uh, they didn't have the doors on, did they? No. To room where the parrot is and yeah, table no, is. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Sounds like I've come from a nut house, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not as exciting as it sounds. Right, I have you. I need a, uh, I need a signal on there, don't I? One way. That'll do. Right, off you go, train. I like the GNR Class 06. Because it sounds fantastic. It looks fantastic. See, he's agreeing there, isn't he? It looks awesome. It sort of reminds me of a Black 5. Just a bit yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't really know that much about Steam. You what, sorry? Oh, Black 5's not got as many. No. I don't know, to be honest with you. Got enough carriages on this one. Uh, AIQ, I don't know how to how people make money on these types of games. For me, two hours in and I'd be filing for bankruptcy. To be fair, it's Transport Fever 2 is one of them. I found it a lot more difficult than Transport Fever 1. Out of the two of them. Uh. Did you never play no. Transport Fever 1? No. Oh, you're missing out. I have actually... That's the game I've spent the most on out of everything. Uh, there we go. Oh, hang on. We'll move my steam off there. Transport Fever 1... Uh, oh, it doesn't tell you unless you've got the game installed. That's a shame. Do you know how I find that out? Because you're not online. It might be because I'm not online. Because you're logged in on my Steam because you're playing City Bus Manager, aren't you, at the side of me? Are you going to play City Skylines 2 when it comes out? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. 2,208 2, hours. 2,208 hours. And just to put it into perspective, how many hours have I spent on City Skylines 2? Mm. City Skylines 2. Not City Skylines. Out. Transport Fever 2? 744. 744. So I'm still 1,300 hours behind Transport Fever 1. That is a lot of life, isn't it? Oh, according to Joseph Reader, today they've just announced Just Dance 24. 24? 2024. Oh, right. Yeah, they've not had 24... Uh, 24. Oh, Imran's here as well. He's Oh, Imran's mortified. It's heck with an additional A. Heek. He says uh, he's 15 minutes late to a Joe Dobson stream. Shocking. It is, Imran. Do you know what? You you need to up your game, my friend. Yeah. Bjorn is here. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, Bjorn. And uh, Leanne Max just watched the City Bus, uh, City Bus Manager episode today. For the rest of you uh, that aren't currently Joe Plus subscribers, that will be out tomorrow about... 1300 or uh, or whenever <laughs> at, some at some point tomorrow round about lunchtime and uh, yeah Freyvik 2.0 when City Skylines comes out now City Skylines 2 we were looking at the uh, at the announcement trailer that's come out today it says October 24 does that mean the 24th of October or October 2024 because they are very you know that's a very different sort of time frame isn't it have we got 105 bits of grain waiting at this farm yet? Nearly. Oh, it'll be full by the time it gets there. There we go. We'll fast forward a little bit. I mean, he's not going to pick anything up here, is he? 
Yeah, Flight Simulator 2024. I know, I know, it's mental, isn't it? I've only just got to grips with Flight Simulator 2020. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. <laughs> AIQ says it's 4,900 hours on a game normal. It depends which game, AIQ. Which game is it that you have those hours on? <coughs> Flipping heck, Francesca Knight's here as well. Bless you. Okay. Francesca's here. Practically everyone's here. She says, evening, Mr. Joe. Hope you are well. I'm so dying in this heat. My greyhound is a very unhappy oh, girl. I love greyhound. Yeah, Magic Toad's got a bit of a soft spot for greyhounds. You'll have to bring them round one evening. Have you just got the one, or have you got more than one? I know our dog's sat there with a face on. Because, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, because of the heat. Sat there, like, wants to go out for a walk, but at the same time is, like, dying of heat exhaustion. Like, well, you can't have both, you know. Iceman says, 24th of October, 23 for uh, City Skylines 2. That's good. That's good. I like that. Ah, right, yeah, so we had Just Dance 1 and 2. I don't think we ever bothered with 3. 3 wasn't on the Wii, was it? Because we used to play it on the Wii. No, I thought it was a PlayStation, didn't we? Did they? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Uh, Joshua Cumbers says, Joe, do you have a clue why the SP Gemini progress is set to 250,623%, which pure logic tells me something might be happening on the 25th of June. 25... 0623. Well, you might be right there. I've not actually... Because um, First Enviro, who was in charge of making the uh, the Gemini, he's doing the Gemini pack, he has not told me anything about release dates, he's not told me anything about when they're going to be announcing things. Uh, he shows me lots of pictures of it, and I will uh, tell you now, it looks absolutely fantastic. You've seen the pictures as well, haven't you? It's, uh, yeah, it looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't tell me anything about release dates or anything like that. I don't really get any news. I just get sent the odd uh, couple of screenshots every now and then uh, for me to sort of dribble over. And uh, you see, you laugh, but we both were. Yeah, we were. We were yeah. very much like, it, yeah. We'll just cross all this nonsense off. Uh, come on, there we go. So, let's have a look. How are we doing in terms of our passenger numbers? Because this wasn't making us money, this whole Driffield local. Oh, we get the little whistle as well because of the coaches. 67 out of 104, that'll do. I mean, this, this flipping train here that comes up through Ellaby, look at that, nearly full. That's making us an absolute killing. I mean, this whole line's making 3.5 million. So, I think if this is making us so much money... It would be irresponsible not to put in another passenger line, wouldn't it? Through Hull. We can utilise this uh, very, very tasty looking bridge section. Now, we can't put the railway bridge... I want to kind of go round like that to Heden. But we can't do that because otherwise our ships won't be able to get underneath. Which is a problem. Uh, how much have you got on? You've got 130. Have we really got that many waiting? Not quite, but... Uh, so we need to sort of bring it over here and then put a junction in round there like that. We'll take it down to Heden. What have we got in Heden? Imran says it's going to look great with the uh, the 142 and the 158 running up and down. I am uh, inclined to agree with you there, Imran. Absolutely inclined to agree with you. Have you met Imran yet? No. No. Because Magic Toad uh, pootles up and down on uh, trains near you, Imran. I'm surprised that you've not met him yet. Yeah, he's a nice lad, is Imran. Yeah, very, very pleasant chap. Normally gets on in the Dewsbury and Batley area. All right. You'll have to give him a wave when you go past his house, because he lives uh, near Our Lady, near Lady Anne Level Crossing. Near Batley. Like, Batley, um, Lady Anne. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, without actually telling everybody exactly where Imran, um, Imran lives, because I don't know, uh, I don't know his exact address. Don't tell us, Imran. It's not a good thing to announce online. Uh, when will it be? 2021, 2022, and 2023. Uh, not for a while yet, because it's currently 1923. So not for a hundred years uh, will it be that time. But don't worry, we're going to have uh, we're going to have some fun in between here and then. Oh, hang on. Internal error. See console for details. Don't tell me I can't use my favourite terminus. 
There we go, it's back again now. God, don't frighten me like that. Flipping heck. So, we're going to use a bit of 25 here. Can I come back to Airport CEO? Um, I probably won't be coming back to Airport CEO. It's a brilliant game and I thoroughly enjoyed playing it, but I sort of feel like we've done everything we can do with it. Plus, I did also find it wasn't a very popular series. It's like Planet Zoo at the moment. After we've done Adwit Junction, we probably won't come back to Planet Zoo because I didn't find that many people watched it. You know, there's, there's other games out there that we could fill the time with that people enjoy more. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think we'll come back to Airport CEO. There might be massive updates to it, you never know. Uh, and then of course it would be, like I say, irresponsible not to uh, do a video on it. But as well, what we do need to do is, um, what's that game called? Don't know. Do you not? No. That's a shame. Um, what's it flipping called? It's on Steam. Uh, it's to do with planes, you build an airport. Go on, you know the one I'm on about. That one that I found the other week. It's like three. It's Airport CEO, but it's like three D. Airport Tycoon, is it? No, not that one. Imran says, "Show Magic Toad a vid, and then he will know." When's the next Planet Zoo? That will be Friday, Joseph. Don't worry about that. Airport. Uh, no, it's um. I could tell you what it was if I minimise this. Airport renovator. No. <laughs> no. No. Airport no. Madness. No, not that. It's um. Oh, that's one where you crash planes, isn't it? Is it? Oh dear, we don't want none of that. Keep this at sixty miles an hour. Right, we'll get that coming round here. Can we? Can we get sixty mile an hour? In fact, you know what we'll do? We'll go for a 50 mile an hour junction and we'll have a like a laddered, a staggered junction like that. There we go. Airport simulator. No. It's, um. Do you know what? This is doing me nothing. <laughs> Get rid of that. There we go. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I can't see it either. Oh, it's in your library, is it? It is in my library, yeah, I own it. Airline. Skyhaven. Skyhaven, it's called. You've never heard of it, have you? No. It's a good game. It was a good little game when I was playing it. But it was very much early access with Skyhaven, so, uh, yeah. If Sky... Oh, yeah. Do you know the one I mean? Yeah. It was a good game, but it was, yeah, it was early access, so there was a lot of features missing. It was very much sort of Wright Brothers era up to the 1900s, early 1900s. So there was no like modern jetliners, airliners, jet planes, anything like that. Farming Simulator 22 when? Oh, I don't know. That'd be a good live stream idea actually. No, oh, hang on, we can't. That's not allowed. We're not having that. This isn't new at Northgate. Flipping heck. Get rid of that. What farming simulator? Mm. Do you think it would be a good live stream? See, I don't know. I've never played it. Have you not? Never. It's a good game, it's farming simulator. Is it? Yeah. So you wouldn't know, because I've never played it. No, you wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. Right, let's build a bridge. Over troubled water. Over troubled water. Well, it'd have to be bridge over troubled water, because bridge over the oil tanker train line doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Bridge over the up and down main. Oh no, it's a single track. Oh. Right, there we go. It's like the uh, Manchester Airport line that goes over the Northwich Mid Cheshire lines. The River Kwai. Bridge over River Kwai. Yeah, certainly not not just east of Hull. Do you know? Yeah, City Bus Manager for tomorrow's screenshots. That is exactly what that was, because uh, I got the screenshots up to do the cover photo. There we go, we'll delete that signal there. Then that should be alright, shouldn't it? What we'll do as well, we'll just put the auto sig on there. Go on, another flash of lightning. Who's that? Very, very frightening. Galileo. 
in a duck, because if we start yeah, singing... I we're saying, we're saying You're what, sorry? We're not allowed to say anymore, are we? Are we not? I don't know. We can't say anymore. That's what I mean. Oh, right. Otherwise I get told off. Yeah, we don't want to start singing, do we? Because if we start singing, that's a surefire way of losing viewers. Right, there we go. So, we've got our new passenger line on there. We've got a line from... Where were we actually building? Withensee. My geography teacher used to hate Withensee. Apparently, she used to have to go on holiday every year with her family to Withensee. And she said it was the worst place on earth. Go on. John Buck. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, lovely. I retract my previous statement about Withensee. Although, to be fair, that wasn't my opinion. That's all. I've never been. All I mean, I've heard is... Uh, is he not a native with and see? He's from Australia. Give over. He emigrated from Australia. And then he started work with the original Southwest Trains. God, you left Australia and ended up in Withensee. Did he take a wrong turn? Did he mean to he sort of end up elsewhere? Oh, do you know? What we might have to do for this passenger line is I'm feeling... So it's obviously going to come from Withensee into Hull. But then I feel it, it needs to be like the other line where it runs through, doesn't it? So, I mean, we've got all these stations up here. We could run it as a stopping service straight to Broomfleet. Because Wrestle doesn't have a, a station currently, does it? So it could go straight up to Broomfleet, not stopping at North Ferriby. First stop Broomfleet, and then it could stop at Wrestle and go up to Weldrake and then York. That is an excellent idea. Of course it is, because I thought of it. Right, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Let's have a big station at York. Can we have, like, something with... What's, what's that? London King's Cross? It's pretty. You can't, you can't give me that, that it's not pretty. Should we have London King's Cross at York? Could we do that? What's that? Oh, that's London King's Cross. We're back on there again. Maybe you do send me a picture. <laughs> See, that'd look good, wouldn't it? There. Look at that. London King's Cross in York. Are we going to use that and all that? Probably not. But it's pretty. So that is going to be York, uh, Queens. There we go. So instead of London King's Cross, it can be York, Queens, Annoyed. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so instead of London King's Cross, it's York, Queens, Annoyed. Because I think that's... Yeah. No? Are, yeah. are you, yeah, you're all right with that? Don't know what we're going to do with all these tracks. Uh, members, Planet Zoo will be Thursday, Joseph Reader, and uh, Friday it'll be for everybody else. Francesca says there's nothing much at Withensee, considering it's a seaside town. Most people go to Bridlington, as there's a bit more to do. Yeah, you see, I'd sort of, more people tend to go to Brid, don't they? I don't even think they have a takeaway. In Withensee? Mm. They don't even have a takeaway? I don't think so. Because they right, Why can't I build this? It says there's a collision. We might have to get rid of York Queen's Annoyed. Is there not an additional bit that goes on to it? I don't know. So I can build out of there? I'm getting the network rail announcements. Oh, right, okay. So if I build too close to there, if I build that there, yeah, that's... in real life, they come in, don't they? Do they? Yeah. I don't know. It's a... Uh... Right, I'll build that there. I don't know sort of what the actual thing of this station is. I don't know King's Cross. I'm just sort of frantically scrabbling to get... Oh, no, that's too easy. I'm just frantically scrabbling to get lines together. Can that go in there? Yes, it can. Oh, 
you get network rail announcements on it, yeah? Yeah, those are the ones that really annoyed Mike. Oh, have they? Ah, right, okay. If we put that there, we can't get that in. Get rid of that. Right, so somehow we've managed to get all the uh, all the platforms done. We'll have that as 25 round. In fact, no, we'll we'll go with round there like that. Bit of 25, or should we go with 30? 30 makes sense, doesn't it? And we'll we'll get the 30 in there. So it's four track out of York, as per real life. I don't know if we're going to have enough train lines coming in here to actually warrant using such a big station. I don't think we are. You know you can set that as a cargo station as well with passenger stations. I did not know that. Each platform can fit 468 passengers. Yeah, we're, we're not going to make use of that, are we, at this stage, I wouldn't have thought. Right, if I build that round there like that... So, um, can I drag that across there? Yeah, that's not a problem. We can drag that to 30. And then this can come across like that. There we go. Everyone can fit into those platforms. And then this one here uh, can come across. I don't really know. Well, we'll just go with that. That can be our uh, that can be our main station. Francesca, I have the Hull to Scarborough line literally in my backyard. Can you build me a nice house in Beverly and call it Francesca's house? And then Imran says it's very hot today. It's cooled down a lot, Imran, since uh, we had torrential thunderstorms where we are. Right, that can be a hundred miles an hour. So we want a Hull to Selby line. Because obviously that's going to be uh, that's going to be very busy, I imagine. Because Selby's quite a big town on this map. In fact, I think Selby's is Selby as big as York. It's well on the way to being as big as York. I know it isn't in real life. Oh, Flipping that, it. Oh, okay. Did you think I meant real life? Yeah. Uh, well, I know that it's not in real life, but uh... right. So that's that single platform. So that's going to go round about forty mile an hour. There we go, that'll do. And then from there, we'll go up to 100 mile an hour up to York. I don't think anything will actually get to 100 mile an hour, mind. But uh, but there we go. Right, get you on there. Get a one-way signal. We don't need the auto sig either, do we? Bring you up there. It's going to be a massively underused station as this, isn't it, at York? Oops, wrong one. There we go, get rid of that signal. And then that's that's pretty much all right, isn't it? We'll have a signal there, but it doesn't really matter. So, Selby to, uh, to York. There we go, you can come in there. And then, so you can go on platform three, but also platform two. And then just straight up to York. And then you can be a little train. Are you going in there, little train? To York, Queen's annoyed. So you can also come in on six. Oh, no, hang on. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, or six. Could not connect to alternative terminals. Ah, right, yeah, you won't be able to there, will you? So if we if we go for the 30 mile an hour, like that, but we'll go for the, the nice, you know, so it looks like we've got new ballast. Now can you? Yes. Right, okay, so that will be train. Look at the tile. I know, I know. Beyond sad because we've not had rain in ages. Are you joking? 
it's uh, yeah, it's absolutely coming down something rotten here. Selby to York. That'll do. I can't imagine we're going to have that many trains on this section of line that uh, we require any more than that. Most of York is actually covered by this station, isn't it? Which is good. Because we don't need to put any buses in then. At the uh, at the exit to Selby Station, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put you sort of there. Build you in like that. 25. That'll do. And then we can have a depot at the end there. Peter says, please, not that platform. Are you not a fan of that platform, Peter? What should we have? You can only do 45 miles an hour. We want something that can go fast. 80 miles an hour. So you can do 80. But then you're a large Atlantic. And an Atlantic. What's better? Right, you can do 80, you can do 70, but you can do 70 with a lot more power. So we'll go with 70. With the GWR Collet Bow End Coaches. Sounds posh, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Five. And you can be on the train at Selby to York. Oh, it sounds good. Flipping heck, it's loud as well. Lee Almack, what's the Queen's annoyed about? Well, because it's London King's Cross station. So I thought, because it's in York, it can be Queen's annoyed. Because obviously, it's not as funny when you have to explain it. But you, you get what I mean. I thought it was quite witty, personally. It's not one of your best. Is it not one of my best? Oh, that's a shame. I thought it was quite good. I don't think you can actually fit on that platform, can you? No, you can't. Right, okay. Hang on, hang on. Manage line. So I don't know actually. I thought it went all the way down in real life, but because that's not long enough to fit anything on. Hey, dear me. Yeah, there is a 185 mod for Transport Fever 2. Uh, it's not a particularly brilliant model, to be perfectly honest with you, so I don't think we're going to use it on this particular series. I don't know. We'll probably just use the 158s. It does look good, doesn't it, that train? I'm, uh, I'm really glad that we're sort of more modern day now so we can use better stuff. Right, so from uh, York, Queen's Annoyed, we also need to do something about... Uh, we could have a line down to Driffield as well, couldn't we? Market Wheaton. So we could go to, I reckon, Weldrake and then Wrestle Broomfleet. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. So what we'll do now? We've got uh, now we've got a terminus station to aim for. Hey, I said in the comment, there's absolutely no game plan here. We're uh, we're we're sort of just making it up as we go along, and then I'm going to come back to this tomorrow and look at it and think, Good lord, were you smoking something exotic when you designed all this? Thank your pardon. You heard. That's what I'm going to think tomorrow when I was like, What on earth were you thinking, man? Oh, hang on. Right. Yeah, yeah, I just... What's that? It's a pair of tweezers. Oh. Just knocked them off my desk. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so we're there in Weldrake. We're going to be aiming for Wrestle. I'm going to have to just take that, uh, take, that, take that signal out there. And I think we're going to aim for 60 mile an hour again. We'll bring that off there. Flat, though. I can't imagine it's going to be a quick train because uh, it'll have stopped at the station, obviously. So what we'll do is we'll put a signal in there and there. It's probably where I've just deleted the signal from, isn't it? Foxy AR, there's a 103 series Japanese train model that's not the best one, uh, but you use it anyway. Uh, yeah, you see, there's quite a lot of Japanese models that are quite good for high capacity uh, running on this game. Because you do find when you get late game, capacity is really an issue. You need trains like every five minutes. Right, so we need to go up to York. Right the way around there, that'll do. Can't 
can't believe you didn't like my Queen's Annoyed joke. You know, I'm, I'm, that's gonna upset me all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, there we go. That's all in. So we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get some auto sig. You can pay for curry tonight. You've upset me. Is it my turn? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. I think you're right. As always. Mm -hmm. Right, so we'll get that to there, and then we'll put another signal in there. That's about right, isn't it? Hey, IQ, what are you planning when you build everything? Just sit out until present day until we get the fancy stuff. I know, to be fair, I haven't got a game plan with this. Uh, there's no plan. I'm just sort of building with what I think we might need. Winestead, yeah. Ooh, Winestead. That sounds a great place to live, doesn't it? Heden. Uh, we'll come in on platform one in Hull. And then we'll carry on. We'll miss out North Ferriby, but we will stop at Broomfleet. We'll stop at Wrestle. And then we'll branch off up to Weldrake. And then finally, York. Uh, should we go into the proper platforms at York? What platforms can we actually use at York? So we could come round here... And, uh, oh, yeah, we could use platform something or other. Platform 7. Not that one. Platform 6. But then you can't get back over again. Right, well, you can if uh, if I build a 30. Oh, maybe not. Are you not feeling that? There, of course you are. Not 5 mile an hour, though, good lord. We've not got a temporary speed restriction on. So Queen's Annoyed Platform 6. That'll do. Still can't believe you don't love that. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And uh, yeah, I think that's most of them. 12 is that platform there. Oh, Joseph Reed is off. Thanks for joining us, Joseph. Now, nah, don't you worry about it, love. Thanks for joining. That's all that matters. Oh, we've unlocked the Flying Scotsman. Well, that's not welcome up here. We're uh, a uh, flying scotsman loose fleet of trains. Right, we'll come into Hull on platform four. But again, with Hull, you can use every platform. Same as there, I forgot to tell it, you can use every platform there. If, uh, if your platform is in use, then we're going to go Hull out to uh, Heden. Then down to Winstead. Oof. Third rail EMU. Third rail EMU front. We've unlocked third rail EMUs. Overheads. I feel like we're missing out on something here. Right, there's a lot of new vehicles. What we might need to do is... Uh, let's have a look in the depot at what this EMU is we've unlocked. Because uh, this, is, this is sounding good. Multiple units, electric. Right, uh, electric... Where is it? Is that it? Oh, that is it. Right, okay. Ooh, that's looking good. So, overhead EMU. How do we how do we add you? Add. Oh no, hang on. I've, I've put you with right. If we do we just have a normal carriage? Seems to be too many pantographs on these things. What what about that? If we if we go with that there, you can only carry eighty. Oh no. That's not what we're gonna use. We're not gonna use that. There's a lot of really interesting looking EMU carriages. I'll I'll give you that, but I think we'll just carry on with what we've got at the moment. So we will use the uh Imran says, I found the mystery uh, Tyne and Weir. Oh, the Tyne Metro thing that was supposedly running Huddersfield to Leeds as an empty stock. Apparently that was a 156. I know that, uh, that that really did confuse us, didn't it? Francesca says, Heden is pronounced Hedden. Oh, is it Hedden? My apologies. My apologies, Francesca. Not from that part of the world, you see. Uh, right, what should we have? 81 mile an hour. Yeah, you can, you can accelerate, can't you? You've got quite a bit of why can they only do reversed? They've only got reversed trains. 
Why is everyone reversed all of a sudden? Have I ticked some box here that can only do reversed trains? Let's get rid of that. For some reason, all the trains are reversed. I, I crossed that off. I don't know what I've done. Harry, I think I've broken something. What? I think I've broken something in the... Uh, there we go. We'll try buy another one. All my trains are reversed. Why Why can I only get reversed trains? Reverse steam locos. Is it because they've got brackets on? Oh, no. Like, literally everything is now reversed. I'm a little bit confused as to why that might be, because there's nothing in new train. Anybody? Go on then. Shout out in the uh, in the in the comments section. Try buying one and just see what happens. Oh, because I'm in mu multiple units section, right? Okay. Let's yeah yeah. You're in mul multiple units. Can't even say it. Um, there we go. It's fine now. Cheers for that, uh, Zero Winter and Jamsy. Right, what are we doing? So we need a train that's not particularly fast, but it has a lot of power. That does have 990. Flipping out, the A1 has a lot. Eight hundred and thirty-nine. Do you know what? We'll have one of them. A precursor class. That's sounding good. Sprinters travels. Why are you ignoring my comments? I'm sorry, Sprinters travels. I'm not. Uh, I'm not meaning to ignore anybody's comments. Uh, it's just. I'm just. Very, very uh, engrossed in uh, in doing this. You can only do one thing at once. I built. I bought the wrong flipping coaches. Now, I meant to do that, didn't I? And uh, a brake and rear. There we go. One hundred and twenty. We'll have two of you on the line one. So line one will be uh, train York to Withen. How do you spell Withen, see? It's got a Y in it, hasn't it? No. Doesn't it? Oh, I thought it did. It's got an R. Oh no, Withenshaw's got a Y in it. Yes, it's Withenshaw with a Y. Imran says, get the Flying Scotsman on. No, we've got these, look. It's a, uh, it's a red LMS coach. No. Red LMS locomotive with a horrendous looking green coach on. They don't exactly work together, do they, these two colours? But it can carry 120 passengers, so that's all we want. Billy Fry, good evening, good evening. And uh, Peter Hillhorse says, can I see your headquarters? Yes, you can. Um, hang on. It's a bit personal. <laughs> uh, hang on. There you go. I hadn't built it, but I have now. There we go. The headquarters is uh, Joe Head Group. And it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. It's very 1925, isn't it? Yeah. Got swept on. Bjorn says, can... Uh, I know. Can we ever get a list of the mods that you use in Transport Fever 2? Do you know what? There's such a long list of mods. Um, I, I don't... There's no, like, quick way to make a mods list, is there? And I keep meaning to. I'd absolutely yeah. love to. You are. A Steam collection. Yeah, but, like... Then you can link it. Yeah, but how do I know what I'm using? It's what you've got enabled. Yeah, but can a Steam collection realise what you've got enabled in a save? I don't know. See, I don't think it can. So a Steam collection, I'd have to go through and manually add everything that I've used on this, but I don't know what I've used on this. Mm. Like, I know that I've used this, this lovely Steam loco here. But like that could be part of a bigger collection of locos because there's there's a couple by Steve M4. Right. I think Steve M4 does it, and uh, it's just like generic British locos. So you know I can use this loco and it's brilliant. Yeah. Or generic passenger coach. I don't know where everything comes from if you see what I mean. Yeah. So it's quite difficult to be able to tell everybody what I'm using because I don't really know what I'm using. I just see things online and they're like, ooh, shiny, click.
I think we'll need more trains than this on the Withensea. Do you know what? We'll, should we go for four? I'm feeling a bit daring. No, we don't want to replace them. I just want to clone them. We've got enough money to clone them, haven't we? Uh, so we'll get those cloned. Oh, he's just going now. Someone else coming out. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll nip up to York. I mean, we've got all the buses we need in York, haven't we? So Weldrake and Wrestle. Do we need buses on there? I think we'll have a bus from Merton to Weldrake. Because Merton we've not connected yet. So even without a, uh, a passenger service, we can still connect it up to Weldrake. Oh, we've already got a bus station. That'll do. Right, put a, uh, a bus stop in there. We'll have a bus stop in the centre of Merton. And then uh, I'll tell you what we'll have. We'll have a, uh, a bus stop down there so that we can take workers to the factory. But we do need to take that dirt road just back a little bit. Have we unlocked uh, tarmac roads yet? We have. Okay, oh, we've unlocked tarmac roads. Right, that is good news, everybody. Because it looks... The tarmac roads just look so much better, don't they? Right, we'll, uh, we'll bring you up to there. Do I have model trains? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, Papain Nulvlaut. I'm really, really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. But uh, Papain, yes, I do have model trains. But I don't actually have them set up, unfortunately. I've got quite a lot of model trains in the cupboard. But sadly, my house, I don't, I don't have the space to have a model railway layout. I'd love to have a model railway layout. If I had a model railway layout, would you? You'd love that, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. One to rival the great Jack Bowley. Because he has a brilliant uh, model railway layout. XC Driver Jack. If we're using the same naming convention as uh, XC Driver Alex from last night. And XC Guard no, Tim. Jack. What's he? Uh, right, bus. Well, Drake to Merton. Oh, Nathan Jordan's here as well. Good evening, good evening, Nathan. How are we? Loft conversion incoming. Do you know what? I'll have to get our Simon on the case, won't I? I said I want a model railway, but I don't just want a model railway. I want a model railway, like, downstairs in my house, and I want to drill tunnel-shaped holes in the wall. You don't have a cellar. I don't have a cellar, you're right. So that's that one. No, I meant down in the living room. You can't just drill a hole in the wall. Of course right, you can! There'll be a right breeze coming through. No, I don't mean to outside. I mean, you could drill a hole in the wall, couldn't you? So that, like, from the kitchen, you could have a train that runs through, not the supporting wall, for obvious reasons, but it'd run from the kitchen through the plasterboard into the living room. And it'd be on a little, a little plasterboard thing, about so wide, running around the edge of the living room. And then it'll run back down the hallway and into the kitchen. And we'd have a level crossing by the... downstairs toilet. Yeah, it'd have to go through the downstairs toilet. You sat there having a wee or something else and there'd be no, level... you're not allowed. No, you're not in the downstairs loo, are you? But there'd be level crossing noises before the train came through. So no, you'd have to finish your wee. You'd yeah. have to finish your wee quickly because there's a 158 en route. You know what I mean? It's... So I've said this, my other half says no. My well, other half says that I'm but stairs as well and the layout of the living room. I just don't think that, you know, I'm a a visionary thinker and I just don't think you are. No, I'm more of a practical thinker. Yeah, but why think practically? Why not dream big? Dream big. Yeah, but then you dream big and just you go always go, oh. Yeah. I know, most of my life's mmm. <laughs> Nathan Jordan says, uh, James May, man lab style. That's absolutely what I'm thinking of. Man lab. Uh, off for his tea, and uh, would you put a cuppa on a flatbed from the kitchen to the living room? Exactly. You could send it like that, like that pub in the Czech Republic, where your drinks are all delivered by train. I like that, to be fair. Yeah, there you go. That's what I want in my house. Yeah, sorry, Jamsy Simulation is uh, saying we're massively distracting. We absolutely are, aren't we? But wouldn't it be awesome? As much as we're distracted, it would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Right, Wrestle's now got a, uh, a train service. Pick your 
garden. You disgrace, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Do you know? Right, okay, so... What was that? I can't, I can't get over it. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you know what? We, we need to get Harry a mic. Do you know, we absolutely do not need to get Harry a mic. Not after what he's just done. Who said that? Nathan. Brilliant idea. It's not a brilliant yes. idea. I'll tell you that now. It's not a brilliant idea. So, we have got... Is anyone else warm in here? I'm <laughs> sweating. <laughs> absolutely. Sweating cobblers. Do you know what? Since the lightning storm stopped, we could actually probably open these windows because it's still red hot. That'll do. It's still roasting, despite the fact it's uh, it's hot. How's our train doing? Let's have a quick look. 19 out of 110 passengers. It, well, it's it's not earth shattering by any stretch, is it? Selby to York, 29. York to Withensea, 42 I passengers. Get over that Can you just stop looking at the window? <laughs> we could do with like a York City bus, couldn't we? Should we should we get a York City bus? That looks awesome, doesn't it? York Queen's annoyed. I believe you didn't find that funny, Harry. There we go. If we if we do something like that, that's probably gonna uh, gonna work out about all right. We'll get a city bus on to get more more passenger traffic. Uh, when are we next gonna be playing Euro Truck Simulator Two? We will be playing that on. Thursday. Thursday is the day that we will be next visiting that. It is every Thursday. I know we've taken a little bit of time off what, with a couple of new releases in the last week. But uh, yeah, we will be back on Euro Lorries on Thursday. Uh, so, bus, York, city bus. That'll do. And then, should we have five vehicles going round? I'm feeling five. What we do also need to do... Uh, b -b 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 five on there. York City bus. We need to get some sort of production for goods and tools in York. Because, uh, what is it? Is it actually goods goods and machines? There we go. Because York is going to be a massive uh, player in our uh, in our rail network. We could do with the goods coming in here, couldn't we? Because York Queen's Annoyed does seem rather empty, shall we say. Yeah. We've got this massive station and only two train routes running in here. Uh, so yeah, York does need to be bigger. But where can we make machines? I don't know that. Imran says, uh, also tell Magic Toad I have been loving his train spotting videos. That's good to hear. Thank you. He said thank you. I don't know if you heard that from the microphone. But uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's grateful for that. We need to do more train spotting videos, don't we? And we we've sort of missed the... Uh... Hang on, you've left... What the weather's like tomorrow. Tomorrow? We could. You're absolutely right. We say this every time. We do say this every time, don't we? I mean, there's nothing to say we couldn't. We could go down to uh, Congleton, Holmes Chapel, see some trains at speed. Yeah. Dog. Hey, was anyone we know? Yeah. Axel. Yeah. Ah. Right, we're going to replace those to make them a little bit longer because we are actually leaving a lot of tools behind here. Now, we do also need to produce more planks because uh, if we're going to get some machines up to York, there's a machines factory there. Can't see any other machines factory. There's a goods factory there. So, yeah, we're probably going to have to use a machines factory that's down here. And we've got planks. Planks are going to be coming from here. That is, mm, you see, that's, how many planks are waiting here? Flipping egg. We need to replace them, don't we? Should we use the same? Uh, thought Hull was going to be the main operation. Yeah, Hull sort of is. Hull and York are the two main, main cities on this, aren't they? Uh, cargo, we need wagons that can carry. Can you carry planks? You can. We'll use the LMS tube long wagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many can you carry? Seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not too long. Nope. Off you go. So we've got 248 waiting, haven't we? What we will do as well is we'll put uh, a bit of cargo cargo buildings. That'll do. And 
bung them down the side. Just all the way down will do. Oh. So you should be all stored in there now. Should be, fingers crossed. Why are you not moving into cargo buildings? I don't know. Right, well, we need a big sort of hub down here, don't we? Or are we using this hub as like a sort of ferry it up and down? We could do, couldn't we? What we'll do is we'll delete all this road here because we don't need that. It's a bit antiquated, isn't it? We'll get rid of that. And then from here, we'll have a brand new road that just goes straight to where we need it to be. Right down there like that. How's that looking? What have we got in the terminal section? Terminal 2, 0 out of 60. Have we got anything running there? No. So then that can run down to there. So we want we want a good tub, don't we? 30 down there. And then we'll bring you in on Terminal 2. Yeah, lovely. Bring you down to there for your... Uh, so you will be the uh, truck, snaith, planks. We've not already got truck, snaith, planks, have we? What are you going to be? You're going to take planks. And I want you to take machines back, actually. So we'll have ten of you. Truck, snaith, planks. There we go. Imran says he's off to Church Fenton on Thursday as he wants to photograph the Class 155s as they're going very soon. What? News to me. Since when are the 155s going? And DKWKYZ says congrats on the 21,000 subscribers. Cheers for that. I appreciate it. It's all you lovely people that make that happen, isn't it? We need to make some metal. So we can make metal there, or steel even. We can make steel there as well. To be fair, there's a lot of tools waiting, isn't there? Have you just taken tools? No, you have... Oh, you're the planks train. I see. You're the tools train. Why are you not fully loaded? Everyone's stuck behind the passenger service, which is also fully loaded. It's what we want, though, isn't it? A fully loaded train is... Uh... What? Fully love. Oh, I've not spoken to our fully in a while. Uh, yeah, LRV Productions. How the 155's going? I hadn't heard that. Imran must be like in the loop or something. Because, yeah, I, I hadn't heard anything about the 155's going. It would be a real shame if they did. I love the 155's. They're my favourite sprinter, I think, out of all of them. Just because of how much noise they make and how much speed they don't make. They're a one-of-a-kind unit, aren't they, the 155s? Right, we'll upgrade that road while we're at it. No, don't. You'll be getting me in trouble. If at any point you say what you want to say, you can guarantee I'll be getting in trouble. So uh, we need to find somewhere to... I mean, do we want the metal coming from there? We could do, because we could bend it round and sort of have it going into there. Yeah, let's do it there. That'll do. Again, no game plan, folks. It's just sort of build as we sort of desire. Build as we see fit. Right, sling you on there. Do we need a four-platform station? Probably. Right, we need coal mines and iron ore. So iron ore's coming from there. Coal is coming from there. That is good. Right, we'll build you out to there. Have a nice 25 crossover there and there. That'll do. Will it? Come on. Crossover. Let's, let's be having you. That'll do. Right, okie dokie. 
So if we cross you off there, cross you off there, because we want you to be able to go to 60 miles an hour after that. Can we get you in there? 55, that's fine. Oh, Imran said he'd seen something on a Facebook group. I hope it's not true, because I love the 155s. It used to be an absolute joy to work. Yeah. Right, bring Very you... There, I get to see them. Yeah, you see, when I used to work... Uh, back in the day, when I used to work 155s, they were on the Victorias all the time by Bradford. Yeah. yeah. But obviously now they've been sort of... Banished. Yeah, they've been on... They're mainly on the whole Halifaxes, aren't they? And no. Hull... Coast, maybe not. Oh, are they? Yeah, Hull Halifax is the 158s. See, every time I end up in Scarborough, it's uh, 170s. Yeah. And, I tell you, I saw a Hull, uh, a Hull service with a 170 and a 155 on the front, and that's just weird. That's weird. It's very weird, is that, isn't it? 170s and 155s stuck together. Weird. Right, so, we'll... Uh, we, we won't tag these together, it'll be fine, won't it? Let's uh, get that on there. Bit of... Oh, hang on, I'm trying to put a dock down. That's that's no good. Got you in already. We don't need that blocking the line, so we'll get rid of that signal. We'll, uh, we'll bring you down further. What on earth is happening here? We've got a good stream waiting. There's a passenger train there. There's another passenger train coming in. You can only carry 88 and you're full. The Hull Selby Express. Oh, it's snared up in traffic. Right, okay. God, there's a lot of new things, isn't there? This appears to be a real, like, sort of sticking point, doesn't it? There's a lot of traffic down here. Imran says he misses the dog boxes. You and me both, Imran. I miss dog boxes. They were good fun. Did you ever work one? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I worked one once on a Castleford. Oh, it was busy. <laughs> it was uh, a very, what's the word we use? Cosy. It was a very cosy experience on, uh, on yeah, it were not in Levi Castleford. <laughs> One one five three. It was like seventeen hundred. Not in layer summit. Yeah, it were uh, like I say, very cosy. Right, we'll we'll pop you in there, and we'll bring the the down to there. What are you looking at? Uh, about fifty five. Can we get can we get that more? That's gonna make the corner tighter, isn't it? can bring it to 60 if we bring it from there. Flipping it, look at that viaduct. Um, what about a bit of that? No, I don't like that. We'll put it on a hill. Right, that signal's now in the way. God, adding more things to main lines is, uh, is a lot more effort than, than we need, isn't it? I can foresee this needing to be four track, actually, in the not too distant future. Right, not one way. So we'll get the coal from there, and we're going to go round to there, Wrestle Central. That will be the uh, train, Wrestle Coal 1. I don't know if we're going to need more coal from Wrestle. And then we'll get the iron ore. Where's the iron ore? Uh, iron ore is there. We've got the platform. Going to be a little bit tight there, isn't it? We'll go with a bit of 30. And then round to there. Oh, shucks, that's... Uh, oh, hang on, right, signal there. That'll do. That will do. Right, so we need the iron ore train as well. Broomfleet and then wrestle. Uh, is that going to be platform two? No, it's not, right. 
So we'll aim for platform one with both of them. That'll be uh, train, wrestle, iron, or one. And the wrestle coal can also aim for platform one, but then platform two if needs be. So have we got, where's our nearest depot? It's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. Turns out I am wrong. It'll be up at Selby, won't it? So we'll go up to Selby. The depot one there. So we need Steam Loco. Uh, the 153s aren't all gone. Don't panic about that. They uh, they are still alive and kicking, but we were on about at Northern. They have gone from Northern now. Uh, very sadly, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they've sadly gone from Northern, but uh, they are still alive and kicking at certain train operating companies. Is it just Transport for Wales? Scott Rail, the Scott Rail but they're, they're not proper 153s at Scott yeah. Rail, are they? Because you can't sit in them. Well, you could if you sat on the floor, I suppose. But uh, Right, there we go. Have we got our train? We have got our train. They're leaving Selby as we speak. And, uh, right, so we're going to be producing steel here, and then we need to go round to... Should we go to here? Should we just drop off here? I think that would be a good idea. From there to there. Yeah, lovely. Snaith, you can use the other platforms if needs be, and you can be the uh, train, Snaith, steel. And then what we do need to do whilst we're here is uh, is double the capacity on there because I reckon we're going to get quite a big demand down to that. We need a snaith steel train. Uh, you're not going to be able to go around there, are you? Oh dear. Where are we going to send that steel train from? Have we got a depot up here? We have. Again, steam. It's going to be the GNR. I love this train. This locomotive for, uh, for freight. I say freight, I can't find the flipping thing. There it is. Right, what can we carry? We can actually carry steel with you. So we'll use the uh, the northeast. We'll use 140. I don't think we'll ever need 140. But it's better to need it and not have it than... No. Have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's, yeah. that's the one. Yep. God, there's a lot of tools waiting here, isn't there? That is going to be quite a busy little goods hub, isn't it? Now, we need to somehow transport the steel, or the machine, sorry, from there up to York. How are we going to get up to York? I reckon we can get up to York by building a triangle here. Because if I build that like that, sort of tag you on there... That's going to look great, but if we stick that with 40 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour, and then build you round there again. Could do that more efficiently if I sort of just went that way, but it's fine. We'll come down to here. We'll have a signal there, signal there, and then obviously it's going to come across uh, through Wrestle up this line here. And then York, uh, have we got somewhere we can just drop everything off? So it'll be the machines that'll be in the industrial district. But if we go to the commercial district... Oh, the industrial district's blue, isn't it? I forget. Right, what about that? Right, hang on, get rid of that. That's most of it. Don't forget to configure York Station to take goods. Uh, oh, hang on. Tracks 9 to 12 cargo. Right, okay. So we don't need that then. So can we... Can we if I go and configure... 9 to 12 cargo. Oh, hang on. Right. Yeah, 9 to 12 cargo. So what? what is 9 to 12? How do we, how do we like save that? Because we've gone on settings, cross that off, but then when we go and configure again, have I got something on 
Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go train Selby to York. Yeah. Get the Selby to York train. Is it because I've got the Selby to York train going in on these platforms? Right, hang on. York Queen's annoyed. Yeah, that's fine. And then what's the other one? York to Withensee. Right, so 9, 10, 11. There we go. So these will be the goods uh, the goods platforms, won't they? Don't worry about it, Connell. You're here, and that's all that matters. Nathan, what mods do you have on? Uh, a few is the answer. Quite a few. Configure. Yeah. Do I do I have to click something? It just says nine to twelve cargo, and I've I've done that. Is it, I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Right, Snaith 2 and 3, and then we're going to go up to York, aren't we? And uh, we'll be on train. Uh, York Machines, isn't it? It's machines from there. I mean, it seems to be working, doesn't it? Seems to be. Might not be. Where's that GNR again? Uh, there we go. Right, we'll have you and... Some cargo wagons of some sort. I mean, you can take machines. So we'll... Do you know what? We'll go with that as well. We'll go with the brown. That'll do. So train York machines. Oh, hang on. What's this? Passenger stop cannot be used by cargo vehicles. I know, but I'm trying to configure you to, to take cargo. Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, I don't imagine we will be using planes on this map. I think it's a little bit... Uh, I think it's a little bit small to warrant planes. See the settings, you, you sort of click it and nothing happens. I, I don't really get what the, the sort of... You can click all these buttons and nothing happens. So uh, we'd be better pausing it. If I delete the station. And then can I put the station in again? This is where it won't let me put the station in again, isn't it? Right, so 9 to 12 is cargo with the normal tracks. Collision. There is no collision. Collisions are not happening. What are we colliding with? Right, we'll delete all of this. Ah, Rainbow Bus says there's supposed to be an apply button. We don't seem to have the apply button, Rainbow Bus. Right, let's let's get that round there. No, okay. Nope, that's not having it. Right, we'll delete all of that. This will look good. I'm telling you that now. That's in the way. <laughs> we'll we'll get it sorted at some point this evening. I tell you that. Right, build there. Right, our station's completely mismatched now. That's annoying. Delete it all. Delete everything. Right, there we go. So we want 25 mile an hour track. And I think from about there, that'll do.
or shall we, uh, we'll, we'll bring you across there, 25, and then you can go in there. It's about there, that'll do. 25 round there, and then bring you back across again. And then these will, uh, will form the tracks that we've not got already. And then that's going to make track five. Oh, hang on, that's a little bit close, isn't it? Imran says, heck, what's happened to York? I know we've had to demolish it because it's been far too uh, bullshy for my liking. Oh, are we? There we go. Game's hard work sometimes, isn't it? You're hard work. Give over. I've been accused of being hard work. Right, there we go. So that's going to come out there and then bring you across there. I think that's probably fine. Right, let's make sure that that's all good. So we've got the York machines. <laughs> Oh, heck, Nottingham trams brought the wires down by the looks of things. And derailed. Oh, nasty. Oh, no, that's no good. The York to Withenshee, Withenshee stopper. It's going to come in there. Hang on a second, I've not put the flipping tracks in here, have I? Will I play scrap mechanics? What scrap mechanics? I've never heard of that. Is it like car mechanics or bike mechanics simulation, things like that, is it? No idea. You must be a lot more up on uh, on the goings on than me. It's just like a huge franchise of games, I assume, if it's part of the same thing. Right, let's, uh, let's bring that across there. Uh, I don't know. I had no intention of doing so because I'd never heard of it until literally this very second. But, uh, yeah, I can have a look online and see what it's what it's all about. I mean, no promises because I might look at it and think, oh, no, that has no place on our channel. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll certainly check it out. Scrap Mechanics. Right, I think we've more or less sorted York out there. Pop a signal on there. Right, so what have we got? We've got the York train. Queen's annoyed. You can go on, on platform one to five. There we go. And then uh, it's the York to Withensee train. That's good. See, the York machines train seems to think that these platforms are okay. For some reason, it doesn't seem to register the rest of them. But what have we got on here? See, again, it says passenger stop cannot be used by cargo vehicles. Cross that off. Oh, hang on. Cargo. Oh. Cargo. There we go. Right, we've got it sorted at last. Right. God, that took a while, didn't it? <laughs> Connell Platt says, Your other half is a legend, never afraid to speak his mind. It's not my other half that sat next to me. It's a... Well, I don't know. Would I call you a dear friend? It's a dear acquaintance sat next to me. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I said dear. What more do you want? Alright then. <laughs> no, my other half's currently over in Germany, so if you can hear my other half from here, from this stream, then uh, flipping heck. I, I was going to say we're doing well, but we're not doing well, are we? <laughs> I'll be getting a message in a minute. Hey! What's that? Oh, that's the coal train. 
cars. That's still not got there yet. So we've got the coal train. We've got a passenger train there. How much have we got waiting at Selby? For the express, we've got quite a few, haven't we? Right, what we'll do is we'll change the steam loco for something. Should we have the Flying Scotsman? No. Tell you what, we'll have the Class A3 Pacific then. Because they are two different models. We'll have the, uh, the A1 Pacific. How about that? An A1. That better? Generic UK passenger coaches. We'll have a first class compartment. And then one, two, three, four. And then we'll have a, uh, a what's that? That's a baggage van. We'll have one of them on. Apparently that can carry 20 passengers. Look at that now. So instead of 88, we can now carry 140. And it's just a generic A1, so uh, no flying Scotsman here, people. Look at that, 140. Francesca Knight says, I love Magic Toad. He sounds like Crowley from Supernatural. Dunno. Flipping is Supernatural, I'll tell you that. Nathan Jordan, high praise coming from Joe, absolutely. I mean, this train is, what, how fast can we do on this? Is it 75? Yeah. 75. Hang on, we're slowing down again on this one. What's this? Oh, that's the, uh, the coal train. Ooh, having to think about it. So we're doing 43 mile an hour. So can you recover the, uh, the speed you were holding? Can we get back up to 75 before the station? I want you to sort of look a bit brilliant going through uh, through Broom Fleet. Darren Crease says, uh, loving the stream, but would love it if you did a South Coast map, including sunny Southampton, if you haven't done it already. Well, I haven't, to tell you the truth, Darren, but uh, yeah, maybe one day we will do that. Oh, hang on, what's this coming through? Oh no, it's going to stop in the station. Because that's just come across in front of us, hasn't it? God, that's no good. This express train isn't very express anymore, is it? There's so many trains on this line, it's just not express. God, what's this waiting for? LMS passenger train stopped. Where are you stopping? Broomfleet. That's North Ferriby. You're stuck in traffic as well. How many have we got waiting for Selby in, uh, in the passenger station of Hull? 90. Okay, that's okay. Hull really is expanding, isn't it? I wonder how many we've got in terms of iron ore and coal. Coal will be a lot because there's two coal mines. Do you reckon we can afford two trains on here? Let's go with two and see what happens. Same as on the iron ore train. Let's, let's try cloning that. Nathan says we need to add an express track. I know, I know. I was sort of hoping to keep it vaguely real life where we only have two tracks, but I guess in real life we don't have that much traffic up and down here, do we? What have we got in the factory? Have we had a delivery yet? No, is the answer. Well, that's the iron ore train. He's still not got there yet to uh, for his first pickup. Right, we've got the coal train there. Let's have a bit of speeding up. Uh, Gates head to Newcastle. Yeah, we could do that at some point. If there's a good map online and uh, it, it offers a lot of potential, then uh, yeah, I don't see why we couldn't do a Gates head to Newcastle map. Oh, hang on. There's a lot of Super Pacifics. We've got new trams. Hell of a lot of traffic round here. Flecky321 says uh, it's all getting a bit busy. But when 66s are running, this is going to look amazing. Absolutely agree with you there. God, what's this? These are the Planks trains. Oh, that's the Planks train. We've got the coal train here. Uh, behind it, we've got the iron ore train. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of a problem with traffic now, isn't there? What are you? You're another coal train. 
Ah, you've come out of this depot, haven't you, with iron ore as well? Hmm. And that has all been delayed because there's a train in that station. Right, tell you what we'll do. We'll put more signals in, in the hope that by putting more signals in, it will generate more trains to, to be here. Hopefully, by adding more signals, it'll allow more throughput. So the planks are off. You could do a Kent and East Sussex playthrough. We could do. God, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, isn't there? Flipping out the amount of maps that have been suggested. Right, the coal train's off now, which means the iron ore train is just coming round the corner. Could do with like an avoiding line, couldn't we, for uh, for here? But where are we with Broomfleet? What if we do like a sixty mile an hour avoiding line? I put you there flat. Yep, bit of that. Is that going to work? Bring you like that. But what about can we can we have a uh, like a gradient like that? Flat. Yep, have a bit of that. And then a bridge over the top, but like a nice bridge. That's not going to work, is it? What we'll do is we'll, we'll go delete all that. I don't know how we're going to do this. I was thinking like a nice flyover. Like that one. That'll do. But like a, a nice bridge with... Without that nonsense at the side. What about that? What's what's that looking like? It's looking a little bit modern, isn't it? Nah, it'll be fine. It will be fine. Put you round there like that. I think that's going to look good. We can have the coal trains running over there and the iron ore trains running over there as well. Yeah, just normal, normal that, that'll do. Broomfleet's never had such a great, uh, a great connection. Bring you in there, yeah, lovely. And then we'll have some more signals. Oh, we've got colour light LED now, flipping heck. This is modern. Right, a bit of 60 down here. And we will need a waypoint, won't we? Right, I'll bring you round there. Yeah, all good. Imran says it's a nice bridge. I think it's going to really help towards reducing traffic through Broomfleet. I put that on there. I don't know. Right, we'll have a bit of 60 out here. Oh, hang on, straight across there. What about one of them? That's looking good. Right, we'll have a bit of you. Because then the coal trains can go over there. I, I really don't know what I'm doing now. This has been sort of a... Just experimenting as we build. 
that. We'll keep that separate. We will keep it separate down there. Look at that. And then that's where the coal comes from yet. Yeah. We can have the coal going off round here. And then tag that in there. Lovely. Right, get the signal on there. Yeah, a bit of colour light. One way. We'll pop the, uh, the colour light signals in there as well. Right, so if we go on... Uh, hang on, have we got signals here? No, we have not. Right, we'll pop a signal in there. So, I don't actually know what trains we need to do now. I wouldn't want to be a worker on that embankment. I know, tell me about it. It should hopefully, though, mean that we, we can be more... We can have a bit more, you know, sort of traffic that's... I mean, where are you going? You're going from there. You're going over the top as well. So, we might actually... Snaith planks... Market Wheaton. Oh, hang on. Nope, nope. Market Wheaton. Bob you over the top. Like that. There we go. And then from Snaith, we can also go over the top to that signal there. That'll do. Yeah, are we, uh, we're all good in that sense. Oh, he's already doing it. Look at that. Right, so he's already going over the top. This should hopefully mean we've got a more... You see, that's the passenger service. The, oh, you're already going over the top as well, Mr. Iron Ore Train. What are you? You're the dark blue service. So from Broomfleet, you're going to go to this signal. Then Wrestle, you're going to go to that signal. Then where's the coal train? We just need the coal train now. Wrestle coal, North Ferribit to there. You can't get to there. Right, okay. Wrestle, you're going to go to there. And then over the top there. Ah, no, you see, it won't be able to get to there. So the coal train will still go through the passenger platforms here and round. But it's not the end of the world, is it? I mean, that is what we call efficiency. Connell says, yeah, I think I'll be sending this stream to Network Rail as a reference for Network Rail. Uh, they should try and get Joe a job there. Do you know what? If, if I was in planning at Network Rail, there'd be some funky junctions, wouldn't there? How do you mean it'd be an absolute disaster? It'd be a triumph. Look at this junction. Just, just, just to pause what? what you're doing. Look at this junction. So, it we're getting a little bit hectic through Broomfleet. So we've added in a couple of freight lines. We've got single track fly over there and back down, which then sticks in three tracks so it's not having to interrupt the express. It'd be a triumph if I were in charge. Well, Look at that. There we yeah, go. All right, that's all right. That's yeah, there's a lot of things I do that you're not a fan of, isn't there? <laughs> not even a, yeah, 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 just absolutely. Where are you actually going? So you're the yacht to Withensee. Right, there's quite a lot waiting on there. How many trains have we got? Four. We might need six. Look at that. Very busy trains. If a train fell down that bank and it's not coming back, Yep, I absolutely agree with you. It's a good job trains don't tend to fall down bankings of transport fever. What have we got here? So you're loading, you've got the steel. What have we got? Are they, uh, oh wow. So it actually looks different in each wagon. That's pretty good. Don't know if the snaith steel has made any money yet. Have we got any machines sort of being made? No. What about up here? Have we had any planks yet? We've had a couple. I think the the planks sort of factory, we could do with more wood coming in, couldn't we? Because you're producing as much as you can. I mean, we, we do still have a lot of wood that's not being collected. Can we make these trains any longer? Let's get our trusted GNR on the case. Nathan Jordan and Joe has the audacity to moan at me when I tunnel underneath a coal mine on Open TTD. I think you'll find it's me that tunnels under the coal mine. The coal mines. Can't even say it. Flipping heck. Right, we can't set lumber on there. Can we set lumber on here? No. Oh, 
Don't seem to have a lumber wagon there either. No, no lumber. Goods, van wagons. Oh, hang on, what was that? Is that it? All cargo. Right, we'll go with the five plank. Right, 210 capacity. How are we uh, how are we looking for that? 30 wagons on. God, that's a long train. So you can take 210 uh, logs. You have 293 waiting currently. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go in the configure. Oh no, we we were trying to go in the configure. Put a couple of cargo buildings on so that. Uh, or maybe we won't. There we go. One, two, three. And what have we got there? One, two, three. Oh no, we can't. That's fine. Long trains. Goodness me. Right, off you go. Keithy Boy says, new to this channel, good content. Cheers for that, Keithy Boy. I appreciate that. I'm, uh, I'm glad you've discovered the channel. There's some there's some absolutely belting comment on here. Uh, content? Comment. 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 Your comment. My content. Right, so let's have a look. How much is that going to make us when it gets to uh, Market Wheaton? Have we actually got a... We've not got any sort of passenger transport at Market Waiting, 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 at all. This is going to make a lot more planks, isn't it? See, I don't want to get another um, from another forest into here yet if we don't need it. How much are you going to make me now? Plenty of money, I imagine. We've been hemorrhaging money. We've only got 39 million left. Although that has just made 4 million, so... Uh, Good lord, we've actually been losing quite a lot of money every year. That's not good. It's not good at all. Goodness me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Hopefully we're going to start making money. I mean, to be fair, that was investment, so this is all construction, isn't it? How much has that train from the other end got on? Are you fully loaded? Uh, give or take. That'll do. These are probably never going to be fully loaded again, are they? But uh, with, they're taking as much as they can. God, there's a lot waiting at the iron ore mine. 299, goodness me. What's this? The coal mine's delayed. Waiting for this chap. Hang on, the ghoul. Uh, yeah, we can't really do a lot with you, can we? But what we could do is just down here could get you on a, a 60 mile an hour crossover onto there. There we go. So when you come back uh, from Snaith, you can go via this signal. I said this signal. I can't see a signal. You can go via... Not that one. Oh yeah, you can go via that signal. There we go. And then you can just cross over just there. Keeps the passenger line free, doesn't it? How many have you got on? Hull to Selby Express. Oh, you've not actually stopped at Broomfleet, but you you did stop at Broomfleet. Right. You're behind that train there. See, even without like all the all the traffic we've got, it still seems to be struggling. The express train is still crawling through Broomfleet. I want you to be flying through Broomfleet. Maybe we should... Get him over onto the freight line. See, now we've got all these lines in, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of traffic about, does there? We could do more, like, things everywhere. That was what I was really going for with this sort of series, was trains everywhere. You've got a lot of coal on. 
What are you? Are you the iron ore train? Yes, you are. What do we need more of? Okay, we need more coal. But it's on the way, don't panic. The steel train's not exactly excelling itself, is it? We need more steel. That is what we're, uh, what we're short of here. Do we need more coal trains and iron ore trains and other trains? I mean, you've still got enough for a whole other train load. Right, we'll, we'll duplicate you, and then the coal train duplicate you as well. Then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll, we'll build you round here. So we'll build the 30. So I'll build you out to there. That'll do. And then a bit of 60. It's going to be a lot of uh, lot of trains down here. Oh, don't worry. Just, just don't panic. Click you on there. Yeah, lovely. A bit of colour lightage. If we've got colour lights, we'll, we'll stick one in there. That'll be fine. Stick one there, and then we'll delete that, that semaphore. And then the coal train, uh, I think, again, we'll probably need you to be a double track all the way around now, won't we? Uh, 60 miles an hour. Yeah, 60 miles an hour all the way round. And then you can just sort of feed in there. GM says, instead of a passenger station, you need to put a cargo station at... At where? I don't know where you're on about, uh, GM. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Imran says, are we nearly in the 1990s? No, but we are in 1929, Imran. We have actually been playing for nine game years. And hopefully, that should... Uh, what have we got on there? Loads of coal. We've got a ton of coal waiting there. Hopefully these guys are going to take a lot of iron ore and coal, aren't they? Three trains between there and there. You'd think we'd see them a lot more often over the uh, the old Broomfleet Bypass, wouldn't you? I know I said Hull was going to be our, uh, our focus of today's operations. Although, look at that. Flipping heck, Hull is expanding. There's a lot more sort of things going on on this side of the tracks. Hull's looking good. I mean, how much stuff is Hull getting? It's getting a decent proportion. I mean, it's more or less half. Alright, we need more tools in Hull. We need more fuel in Hull, which, looking at that, good lord. Right, hang on, not that one. Hull fuel. Need new vehicles, guys. Uh, that'll do. Let's have 30 trucks. Just really get to uh, get to grips with the old hull fuel there. Because plenty waiting. It's just literally a delay of the trucks getting it into the city centre. Look at that bridge. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Joe, have you... Burnt through 200 million. It appears I have, Foxy. It appears I have. I don't know quite how we did that. But, uh, yeah, we have burnt through 200 million. I mean, all our trains are making us money. If you look at the uh, the lines there. Uh, 4.7 million, 3 million, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 1.5, 1 million, 1 million. So there's plenty making us money. There's more making money than what's losing us money. The Hull to Selby Express is losing us money. I don't know how that's happening. Let's put another train on in the hope that maybe it might start making us money. It's because it's it's taking a long time, isn't it, to get from Hull to Selby. Look at that. The Horn Sea to Snaith Local. We could maybe do with updating that. Let's, uh, let's just go down. Have we got a better train? Ooh, the LNER Hush Hush. Quite like that. Fowler. That's a good one. LNER class. There we go. We'll have one of them. Generic UK passenger coaches. Let's have some red ones. Third class. Boop, 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 boop. Five of you. How much do you carry at the moment? 144. Right, we'll have six of you and a brake fan at the rear. We don't have enough money to replace them. Right, ignore that. 
It was a great idea until actually, you know, we spoke to Nat West. They said no. First passenger service is losing money. I know. I know. Our, uh, our, our express passenger train is losing us money. That's no good at all. Selby Express, 80 passengers aboard. Well, 78 coming in, 80 going back out. Ah, oh, there you go. Three million nearly. It's making us money again now. Oh, we're unlocking some American locos. That'd upset everybody if we put some American locos running through Hull. <laughs> uh, Joe, do you prefer Arriva or First for your buses in terms of routes and vehicles? I personally prefer First um, because First tend to pump for Volvos, Arriva tend to pump more for VDLs, don't they? I know that Arriva in Yorkshire do have some Volvos, but yeah, uh, the Volvo B10 BLE and B7 RLE with First are sort of what I grew up with. So when I think buses, First are my, uh, my preferred my preferred operator uh, out of the two. I would like to uh, I would like to have some eclipses and Gemini's and things like that in this game. I really do want a B7 hour elite. I believe CW315 is actually making a B7 hour elite. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's just hearsay. So I don't know. He might be. He might not be. Let's have a look and see if we can get a clear run through now. Now that most of our traffic is going up the other line. See if we can get a clear run. So we're at 43. If we'd used the Flying Scotsman, we'd have had a clear run all the way through. <laughs> I want to see it flying through Broomfleet. See, sort of when we're a bit more modern day, I think this is going to work a lot better because the trains will be faster. When they're a bit slow like this at the moment, they don't really work as well. However, we are at 70 miles an hour. I can see a passenger service in front there, which is going to slow us down. Oh, no. That's a Hornsea to Snaith local with uh, with an express coming through the other way. Look at that. That's the Hull to Selby Express. That one's actually managing 75 mile an hour. The one going the other way is going to stop, though, behind this. That, I don't know what it was, but that looked like it was absolutely flying through. Look at that. That's going to make us some money, hopefully. And with a more frequent service, maybe more people will use it. I think that's how it works. Flipping heck, if you were on the platform there watching that train out and you saw that flying up behind you, you'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? CW does make some brilliant models. Uh, yes, CW makes an absolutely fantastic model. All of his uh, Transport Fever 2 stuff is brilliant. Yes, I know you mean AIQ. His name escapes me. It's a number plate, isn't it? DV64 MLO, is it? I think. But yeah, he does loads of UK reskins. Mr. Rashley says, uh, thought you were saying more B7 hourly in real life. Oh yeah, I love a B7 hourly in real life. We do love a B7 hourly, don't we? And a B7TL. Yeah. Can't wait to get mine back on the road. I really can't. I need to do some overtime at work and get some more live streams going out and uh, then maybe we can get the B7 back on the road. But it's not so much a monetary issue. It's it's more uh, the people who keep saying they're going to do it and then don't do it. Yeah, they, they keep letting me down. So fingers crossed, eventually, uh, it will happen. Busman says, all you need to do for City Bus Manager is press the green tick when you've reached the turnaround point. It will do the return trip for you. I should bear that in mind, Busman. Oh. And if oh. you set it to go down a one-way street, it's going to go its own way back. You do loads of different things. You know when you put your waypoints in? Right, so it's only if you're completely avoiding one-way streets. Yeah. It's only if it's a perfect street that that's going to work. I'm with you. Because in Tarvin that won't work, so we do a little loop in Tarvin, don't we, at each end? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Although you could you could click the tick. You could click the tick 
and then cross off the end bits and do your loop manually at the end. Here we go, in Selby, look at that, 3 million made. And uh, 49 for the return journey. Okay, it's not as good as we were sort of hoping for. Could we maybe get like a Selby town bus running? Maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll help everything. If we have, I mean, where, where can we actually reach? So that's sort of got an area around there, we've got there. And then, this seems new down here, was this here before? I don't know, but what we'll do is we'll we'll get that running as a uh, yeah we'll build you to there, build you to there as well. Look at that bit of a one two three four junction there. It's like a crissy crossy junction, but better. So we get you running up here, round there, yeah, lovely, and then we'll sort of build that out there. So we can expand down that way. Get like a little town runner. So we're going to go from there, little town runner, to there. We can stop at that bus stop, then we'll come up here. Put a bus stop there, even though we're not going to be using it. And we'll put one there. That'll do. So we'll stop at the other stop in Selby. Come round here. Selby was once a distant land, you know. Because yeah. I used to have the Hornby Class 155 in Metro Red with a... That sort of cream stripe down the side. Oh, yeah, the in fact, it's rail. still in there now. Uh, the West Yorkshire Metro Regional, Regional Rail, Railways yeah. livery. And uh, it said Selby on the front. And as a kid, I remember thinking, ooh, I wonder where that is. And like, it was this really far away place. Metro train. Metro train, that's yeah, that's the one. Oh, hang on. And actually, it turns out it's not that far away at all. Uh, Selby Town Runner. That can be the Selby Town Runner. It's not, is it? But, uh, yeah. Bus. Selby Town Runner. Oop. There we go. Right, we've got them running on the Selby Town Runner. Right, well, there we go. Uh, there we go, folks. It's coming up to two hours. And uh, I need to go and have some tea. So, yeah, it has been an absolute pleasure. We've got plenty built today. I mean, everything up to York has been built today. Uh, York to Withensea. We need more trains. Flipping out. Look at that. We've got a lot of passengers waiting. The York to uh, Selby runner is not actually that busy, is it? But the York to Withensea branch is really, really busy. So we'll get another four trains on there, I think. Not enough money. Right, yes, not enough money. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> yep, not enough money. Right, well, yes, it has been. I can't believe that. I thought after all the amount of like profiteering trains we might have put in, we might have made a little bit more money, but no. <laughs> End of the stream. We started off with £250 million and now we can't afford to buy four trains. Not enough money. Do do. It's done the, uh, the transport fever. Do do. Yeah, not good. Right, well, thank you so, so much, everybody, for joining in with the stream this evening. It's been an absolute pleasure. We've got plenty of... Uh, of trains in operation now. I'm going to look back at this when I come to record next week's Transport Fever 2 video and think, flipping out, what did we do in that live stream? Goodness me. We got a lot accomplished, haven't we, given we only usually have half an hour segments of, uh, of Transport Fever. <laughs> Can you stop laughing, please? <laughs> I've just got magic toads sat at the side of me just crying with laughter and I'm not quite sure... Uh, what, what, nothing. what there is. No, nothing, no, nothing. funny. No, no, no. Do you want to just... You know, eyes no. front and all that. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, thank you so, so much, everybody, for joining in. Bjorn L, Imran Areva, Leal Mack, and, uh, of course, Joseph was here earlier. Rod and Rail Studios, Iceman, Nathan Jordan, Francesca Knight, of course. Can't forget the, uh, the wonderful Francesca. I'm sorry we didn't manage to uh, name one of the houses. In fact, let's just go into Driffield now. Industrial building. Oh, you can't actually name them. That's a shame. You can, you can, yeah, you, you can't rename them. Pity, pity. Uh, but yeah, 
never mind. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining in. I do hope you've enjoyed the stream. If you have enjoyed it, please do click the like button. Uh, it takes you five seconds and it makes a massive difference. So please do click that. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any more of this series. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully I shall see you all next time. Cheerio, everyone. Goodbye for now.